Yo, what's up, Wagwan? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chef Andre Henry, and you're watching Chef Henry Kitchen. Christmas is coming, and I'm gonna show you how to make the best Jamaican sarrel drink ever. Christmas are coming, and we have to drink the sarrel. They are foreign, you have to send the barrel. This sarrel drink you're gonna enjoy it on christmas you serve it and enjoy it if you want to turn it into wine all you have to do is leave it and let it ferment it and it's become wine hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you can be notified when i upload new content like this one you don't miss a thing here is all the ingredients fresh sarrel and this is Jamaican sarrel. And this is from a hibiscus plant. It have a bitterish taste. You can heat the sarrel just like this. And sarrel have a lot of health benefits. Ginger. This is enough sarrel to make who get on a drinks. I'm gonna boil it with the ginger. First, you have to wash the sarrel. I wash the sarrel. I'm gonna get ready to boil the sarrel, but I'm gonna prepare the ginger. So I wash off my ginger. I'm just gonna cut the ginger down the middle. Just to open up the ginger. And I'm gonna use my hammer and I'm gonna smack the ginger. And you wanna use this part of the hammer. And this hammer is safe to use in the kitchen. It's a kitchen hammer. If you don't have one, you can go get one. It's nice because it has the rough teeth right at the back. And this way, the ginger can release all of its juice into the sarrel when it's boiling. So I'm just gonna add it in with the sarrel. I'm gonna boil the sarrel and I'm gonna add two of this jug of water inside the pot. And here is the second jug. If you're just joining and you find this video helpful, leave a comment and also hit the subscribe button. Now I'm gonna add my sarrel into the pot. You can also use the dry sarrel for this recipe, but I'm using the fresh sarrel. I find it's much better. Now I'm gonna sit on the stove to boil. And I forgot to mention one more of the key ingredients allspice berry and allspice had flavor into the sarrel i'm just gonna add a few grains into the pot to boil with the sarrel and a nice glass of sarrel with your christmas dinner they take you far back all the way down memory lane for those who is from like the caribbean i'm showing you all the necessary step you need to know and how to pull this one off. I'm gonna check on the sarrel. Stir it around. I'm just gonna cover. There is two step on how to make Jamaican sarrel drink. And this recipe, I'm gonna walk you through the two step. Now the sarrel is boiling.
and this is the best time to stir and look if you look at the sorrel you can see that it's losing all of its color darker red inside the pot now i'm gonna shut my stove off i'm just gonna put the cover on i'm gonna let it cool down and gonna let it sit for a day Now I'm on the second day and it's time to strain off the sorrel and this sorrel recipe it's something that you're gonna enjoy so stick around I'm gonna use this wonderful strainer I'm gonna take out the rough particle that's removing all the sorrel pieces with the ginger I'm just going to rest this in this container. Now I get most of the, the pulp from the pot. I'm just gonna set this out of the way. I'm gonna start adding sugar to sweeten it and, and I'm also gonna add some Jamaican rum. And I always say, drink responsibly. In my kitchen, I use liquid sugar, but you can use regular sugar to sweeten the cereal. I'm gonna add two cups of liquid sugar. If I need more sugar, I'm gonna add it after and remember if you are diabetic cut down on the sugar and we're gonna stir 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 I do the reversal stir. You go one way and then you come back the next way. That's help break up the sugar. I'm gonna do a quick taste. I'm gonna add some more sugar. another two cup I'm gonna stir and then I'm gonna taste Now I achieved the right level of sweetness. Now I'm gonna add Jamaican rum. I like to measure the rum. So I'm gonna grab my measuring cup. one cup of rum and anybody know, watching the channel maybe know my grandfather this is his best friend rest in peace granddad so one cup of rum always know that you can add more and you can also leave it out to ferment just put it into a bucket and seal it and just let it ferment 
for two weeks. I'm gonna test the alcohol level. Right amount, but knowing the family where I'm from, I'm going to add some more. So this time I'm gonna add another half a cup. To capture the fine particles, I'm gonna just stick with my squeeze bag. I'm gonna hold it and I'm gonna pour it inside it. Oh, I'm spilling a little. I don't want to waste anything. Anything that I pour alcohol in, I don't like to waste it. I just like to drink it. Oh, I spill some more. It's okay, it's on the table. I think I'm at the top. So I just have to remove this. And this work wonders, see? all the fine particles is trapped into this squeeze bag. So now I have a drug filled up with cereal. I'm gonna pour it out in some other container and then I will see you for the taste test. I finish transferring the cereal drink into three container. One jug full and the drinks jug full and plus my other jug fancy one is full and coming off screen i'm gonna finish this so i'm gonna put these ones in the fridge this one have more alcohol because i pour more rum inside here this is for when my friends stop by true i come from a original liquor family we cannot see the rum and pass it my grandfather is tiparos and he passed away rest in peace i'm gonna drink to him now I'm going to pour myself a drink. Not getting fancy, but you have to get fancy when you make a lovely cereal drink like this. Oops. This recipe is the best cereal drink recipe ever and i show you the two parts and also the jug i'm just gonna leave it out to let it ferment so it's gonna be stronger but you can enjoy this cereal drink with your christmas dinner and normally this is something that's served on every jamaican table at christmas so now you see how it's done hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell i'm gonna take a drink for you See you on the next one.